we see that Alejandro has a deck box filled with Yu-Gi-Oh cards. In addition to that deck box, he also has five additional cards that he won at a tournament. He has a total of 66 cards. So we need to figure out how many cards he has in that deck box. Well, we don't know how many cards are in the box. So we're going to use something to represent an unknown number. We're going to use a variable, in this case, the letter X. X can be any number. We need to, need to figure out what it is. In addition to whatever's in the box, which is X, he also has one, two, three, four, five additional cards. So he has whatever's in the box plus five. And then this is going to be a total of 66 cards. What if we want to figure out what X is? Well, we can figure that out by isolating the variable. In other words, getting X all by itself on one side of the equal sign so that we can say X equals whatever's on the other side of the equal sign. We see that X has five extra cards added to it for a total of 66. So what we do is we do the opposite of whatever it is we're doing to the X in order to get X all by itself. So since we're adding five, we're going to do the opposite of that. We're going to subtract five. That cancels out and there's nothing left but X. But whatever you do to one side of an equal sign, you have to keep balanced by doing to the other side. Otherwise, they're not equal anymore. So we're going to subtract five from the right side as well. That leaves us with 61. So that means X equals 61, and there are 61 cards in Alejandro's box. I need to shop yard sales in Bob's neighborhood. So how much is each coin worth? Well, we can figure that out the same way we figured out how many cards there were in the box. We're going to do the opposite operation of whatever we're doing to the X. In this case, we're multiplying by four. So to solve this, we're going to divide by four. So we divide this side by four and that cancels out, we're left with nothing but X. However, whatever we do to one side, in order to keep things equal, we have to do to the other side as well. So we're going to divide $5,000 by four. What do we get? Well, it ends up being $1,250. That's how much each rare coin is worth. How many Jolly Ranchers did we have? Well, just like before, we're going to do the opposite operation in order to find out how much we originally had. Here we're subtracting, and the opposite of subtraction is addition. So we're going to add 6 to this side, get our x all by itself. Now what you do to one side, you have to do the other. Otherwise, it isn't equal. So 2 plus 6 is 8. We originally had 8 Jolly Ranchers. So if we see one green bar and three yellow boxes on one side of this equation, that tells us that we have one single x And in addition to that single x, we have one, two, three constants. So this would represent x plus three. On the other side of the equal sign, we have one, two, three, four, five constants. 
So this represents the equation x plus 3 equals 5. If we want to solve this equation, all we have to do is what we've done before. We do the opposite operation of whatever we're doing to this x, and then we'll get the x all alone by itself, or isolated. So, since we're adding 3, we're going to subtract 3, canceling those out and leaving us only with the x. And what you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So we'll subtract 3 from this side, and that gives us 2. Well, same as always, we would do the opposite operation that we see happening to the x. In this case, the x is being multiplied by a negative 3. So what we have to do, we have to divide by a negative 3. That leaves just the x. And what you do to one side, you have to do to the other. Negative 9 divided by negative 3 gives us 3. Easy as pie.